This video is going to look at warm ups and cool downs. So you've got to know two things on the specification. You've got to know the effects of a warm up and cool down and the benefits of each. So when we're looking at a warm up, there are four main stages when we're actually planning one out. The first stage is to include a gradual pulse raising activity. So this might be a fast walk, jog, light swim. It's basically an activity to increase the amount of oxygen we're getting to our muscles. It gets our blood flowing a little bit faster um, and gets the oxygen moving to where we need it. So we've done our gradual pulse raiser, then we do our stretching. Okay, you've got to stretch all of those relevant muscles you're going to be using in your training or match. Then we do a skills-based practice. Okay, so if we're playing football, for example, it would be doing a few passing, shooting drills, getting used to having a ball at our feet. And finally, we have the mental preparation stage. And this is where we start to get focused. And we use all those techniques we learned last year to help control any increases in arousal. So if we're getting a little bit um, anxious before the game, we might use some deep breathing, positive self-talk to help us get focused on the match ahead. So now we're going to have a look at the effects and benefits of doing a warm up. So how does a warm up benefit us before a match or before a training session? Well, the first thing it does is it increases our body temperature, which helps us ready ourselves for exercise. So increasing body temperature has loads of beneficial effects. For example, it also helps increase the elasticity of our muscles. Our muscles become slightly more elastic as our body temperature heats up. It's a bit like a ball of blue tack. If you've got a cold ball of blue tack and you pull it apart, it snaps. But if you warm that up in your hands, the ball of blue tack for a bit, just like you'd be doing in a warm up, warming up your muscle, and then you try and stretch it, it stretches an awful lot further. So body temperature is really, really important. We also stretch. Okay, that second part of the warm up is the stretching stage. So this increases the range of movement at our joints. So we're able to stretch and move our joints a little bit further, which benefits us in sports in a number of different ways. There's also a gradual increase in effort. So as you start doing your warm up, you should be gradually getting more intense. And you should be working up towards the intensity that you're going to be competing at. So by the time you start the match, you're ready to continue going at that same intensity. You can also be more focused and more psychologically prepared as a result of your training session, of your warm up. You've also practiced certain movement skills like passing or shooting. So you've already um, started practicing those important skills that are vital for you to succeed in your sport. And as a result of a lot of this, there's a reduced risk of actually suffering any injury. And one of the big benefits is there's an increased amount of oxygen. Because you're now pumping more blood around your body, there's an increased amount of oxygen going to your muscles. And that helps us with producing energy. So that's a really important part of why we do a warm up. Now we've got three, six, seven different things listed here, and there are loads, loads more we could look at. But if you were just to remember a few of them, you could just remember the acronym FIMO for the four main benefits. If you're looking at getting that sort of A, B grade, then you definitely want to try and remember a few more of that previous list. But if you're just trying to remember the main benefits, then you're going to remember TIMO. So your temperature increases, your injury risk reduces, you're more mentally prepared, and oxygen goes to the working muscles. So you've got PIMO, temperature, injury, mental preparation, and oxygen. Four main benefits of why we do a warm up before sport. So at the end of the game, or end of a match, you should be doing a cool down. Now, a cool down is an activity which is done to keep your breathing and heart rate higher at the end of an activity. And it allows you to gradually reduce the intensity and therefore gradually reduce your heart rate, your breathing rate. So you might start with a jog, then go to a light jog, then go to a walk. So you're gradually reducing the intensity of the activity you're doing. And it will also mean you stretch out a few of those muscles that you've used in your activity. That would be generally what a cool down would look like. Reduced intensity of some sort of jog to a walk, 
and then involving some stretching. Now, there are different benefits of why we do a cool down. The first one is it allows your body to start recovering after exercise. By gradually reducing the intensity, a load of different things occur in your body that allow you to recover more quickly. One of those big things is it helps you remove lactic acid, carbon dioxide, and all the other waste products that are built up inside your body um, during the exercise. So if you weren't to do a cool down, then a lot of these things would stay in your body for a lot longer. So a cool down helps you to remove all these waste products much more quickly because it flushes blood through your arteries, through your capillaries, and flushes out all of these waste products. Whereas if you didn't do it, it stays sitting there in your muscles for a lot longer. And it also helps prevent something called DOMS, which is the delayed onset of muscle soreness. So if you were to do a gym session, the following day, you'd probably feel your muscles really tired or really sore. And you may have felt this after a football match. So maybe not that evening, but the following day, your legs are really tired. That's DOMS, the delayed onset of muscle soreness. And by doing a cool down, we can prevent DOMS from occurring. Um, and there's a number of different reasons for this. Some of it is linked to the removal of lactic acid. So if lactic acid will stay sitting in your legs after a football game, then that will cause more damage to your muscles. But by doing a cool down, we can flush all that blood through, flush out the lactic acid, and therefore we don't get as much DOMS the following day. So if we want to remember a little acronym for the benefits of a cool down, we've got RCOMS. So we've got R, recovery, start to recover gradually. C, carbon dioxide is removed. And again, if you want to get high grade, think about those other waste products that are removed as well. And OMS, the onset of muscle soreness is reduced. We start to reduce that pain in our muscles the following day.